I'm over here watching this game, and I'm, I'm just... It's been bad, man. I ain't even gonna lie. It's been bad. The game started out hard. The core had, what, three sacks? The first quarter, four, I believe, in the first half. And he also threw a pick six in the first quarter, and it, got, it started getting out of control. Colorado seems outmatched honestly against nebraska and you know the thing that i was uh, afraid of or i knew coach prime was gonna have to face was a, a big 10 team you know look the big 10 they not they not playing going up against nebraska i knew it was gonna be a tough game they did beat them last year but of course you got transfer portal you got dylan riola who he played against my son high school down here in georgia last year so you knew he was supposed to be one of the next the ones up next and um it's just <laughs> i don't even know i don't even know where to start i mean so Shador threw two for he threw for he's currently throwing for two forty four, one town one touchdown one interception. But to me, majority of the yards were garbage yards to the receivers, and I mean it's not it's not all on Shador. I do feel like a lot of times he hold the ball, but his line isn't necessarily the best, and um, his receivers dropped dropped several balls. And I, I've been on uh, X obviously, and people have been saying. His stock is dropping. Some people think he might be a generational bust. I don't believe that as far as being a bust. I do think he's going to take a hit. And like I said, when you're the darling last year, people love you. But you got to execute on that. And they were talking trash before the game, Shador and them. And I have no problem with that if it can produce to winning. Um, Shiloh broke his forearm, according to uh, Coach Prime. He broke his forearm. Travis seemed like he getting the cramps and uh, issues with his calf, calf muscles. They got too many penalties. Colorado be having too many penalties out there. And it seems like the offensive line can't really block, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. They, they, they seem undisciplined. And you, you can be as arrogant as you want to as long as you're winning. They haven't been winning. And like I said... They're, they're, they're not going to win this game tonight. And let me see who they play against next. All right, so next week they go against Colorado State, which may be a win. But then they got to go up against Baylor. And like I said, they also moved to the Big 12. And even last week against uh, North Dakota, North Dakota State, that was an ugly game. You know, North Dakota was pretty close to winning. So I don't know. We're going to see about Coach Prime. This may – I don't know. I don't think this would be the, the last year. But if he don't get to a bowl game this year, you'll start to see the alumni – in the media really turn on him because they like you as long as you're if you're winning it's all good you can do whatever you want that's just like how nick saban was with the media yeah he was how he was but because he won so many national titles you looked the other way so we're gonna have to see man but shador they're gonna have to protect shador he's gonna have to get that ball off faster and I don't know, but they they've been outmatched. They been, they was outmatched last year. I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. They're gonna have to regroup next week for uh, the game against Colorado State. And one more thing, even with, with Colt McCoy, what was he doing? He seemed he seemed nervous out there. I, I haven't personally ever seen. I know I seen him on. I think it might have been ESPN. Well, he's on the SEC Network at one point, and I know that uh, he on he's on Fox or whatever, right? NBC, whatever he doing. But he did. He just seemed. I don't know. Like it felt like the other commentator was trying to give him an alley oop, and he wasn't catching it. Then I know the the third commentator, who was the penalty guy, the one who was about targets and stuff, he had to jump in, and it seemed like the second half Colt was more but good at an announcer, but he was trending for the wrong reasons. It was I almost wanted to mute the game. That's how bad his comment. I have not seen commentary that bad in a long time, at least the first half. So maybe he was nervous. Maybe tell me if y'all thought that, but yeah, let me know what y'all think.